This is how to make this Mr. Beast elimination effect in Premiere Pro. So first, you need this red cross image, which you can find in the description. Now select the layer and in effects controls, rotate the image so it looks like a plus and make the lines as straight as possible. You might also have to scale down the image a bit and move it to the center. Now because we messed with these values and we need to animate it, we need to nest it first. So right click on the image layer and then go to nest and then click on OK. Now head over to effects and then search crop and then apply the crop effect to the nested layer. Now with the layer selected, go to effects controls and then click on the crop effect to show these blue handles. Now drag the left handle as close as possible to the cross without touching it and do the same thing with the right handle. And then drag both the bottom and the top handle so that you remove the cross line. And that's why we made it as straight as possible in the first step. We're now going to animate the single line. So create a keyframe for the current right value and then move it forward a bit. Now click on the crop effect and then drag the right handle to the left to remove that part. And we now got this animation. And since we used the crop effect, we can smoothen out the keyframes. So select them, then right click on one of them and then select ease in and then select ease out. You can also customize it even further by expanding the arrow next to right and then selecting one keyframes to show these handles. You can now adjust these handles to change the speed graph, but make sure to only drag them sideways and not up or down since that will mess up the animation. Now to make a complete cross animation, you need to select the current layer and then duplicate it by holding Alt or Optional Mac, and then drag the layer up on track. Now with the top layer selected, go to fix controls and then click on rotation and then make sure that the anchor point is set to the center of the line. And then you can change the rotation value to around 90 degrees to make it a plus again. And to animate these lines separately, we need to offset one layer a bit by moving it forward. Now select both nested layers, right click and select nest. You can now rotate the nested layer so you get across again. And we now got this animation. If you're not happy with the direction of the animation, you can change the rotation value of the nested sequence or you can go to effects and then search flip and then you can apply the vertical or the horizontal flip effect to the clip and this will get you a slightly different animation. To create this glow on the cross like Mr. Beast you need to duplicate the nested layer by holding alt or optional Mac and then drag it up. Now head over to effects and then search Gaussian blur and apply the effect to the top layer. Now in effects controls move to the point where the one line is overlapping with the other one and then create a keyframe for blurriness. Now move forward one frame by pressing the right arrow key and then increase the blurriness to around 400 or whatever you like. And to fade out the glow on the cross, you can also create the opacity keyframe that aligns with the blur keyframe. Now move forward about one second and then decrease the opacity to fade out the glow. And this is what we got so far. You can also select the keyframes, right click, ease in, and then select ease out to smoothen out the animation. And you can also move the second opacity keyframe to adjust the speed of the fade effect. Last but not least, to create the slight scale down effect, you need to go to the project panel and click on new item and then select adjustment layer. Now drag the adjustment layer above both nested layers and make sure it matches the duration of the clips. Now go to the effects panel and search transform and then apply the effect to the adjustment layer. With the layer selected, go to effects controls and then make sure you are at the start of the clip. Now click on the stopwatch next to scale to create a keyframe and then move forward about one second and then set the scale to around 75 or whatever you like. Now select the keyframes, right click ease in and then select ease out. And you can also expand the scale section and then play around with the speed graph again. And this is what we got. You can now highlight all the layers, then right click and select nest and click on OK. And you can see that the animation is transparent by clicking on this icon, and then enabling transparency grid. And you can now move the cross animation around and do whatever you like with it.